Can you believe it? My Weibo account has been suspended because I shared a post regarding to Chen Qiushi. The original post was like a guy asked, does anyone remember him? How is he now? With a picture of Chen. So I reposted it. A few days later, my Weibo account became malfunction. I'm not able to like, post, or share any content. Hey, Dada, my name is Lei. I think some of you might heard of the citizen journalist Chen Qiushi who is despaired for reporting the coronavirus situation in Wuhan. Um, Chen is a former lawyer. He went to Wuhan and report what he saw during the lockdown. I don't think he had the permit to report as a real journalist. So let's call him a blogger. A blogger went to Wuhan to report local news. Whilst everybody was recommended to remain at home, I won't judge on his behavior. But I can tell you why Chen it was taken away by the big brother. You see, China is not a country of free speech. All news must be filtered before it can be published. So one thing that Chen has done wrong is that he doesn't have the censorship himself. Means that he do not know what is the content which the authorities doesn't want him to show. Now, if you search Chen Qiu Shi on Weibo, his name returned almost no results. Obviously, the censors is intentionally scrubbed the way the information. Another thing Chen has done wrong is the platform he chosen. In another word, the audience. You know, in China, all social media accounts must link to a phone number. And that phone number is linked to an ID. Chinese audience is mainly Chinese people who live in China, and those Chinese social media platforms are controlled by authorities. So I believe it's not the first time someone told him to stop. Usually the authority will inform one to stop doing something when they don't want you to do. If one is not obey, they will move forward to the next step. However, it's wrong to arrest the citizen uh, when he's not broken the law. But unfortunately, this is how things work in China. Okay, my next topic is, or maybe I'm supposed to say tips, are the things not to do in China to keep you safe. The first thing is do not touch politics. That including uh, talking, criticizing the authorities. Trust me, it has zero benefits to your life. Second, do not gathering people in public place. That's a big no. You will be the target if you will be the target of doing so. Third and the last. If police tell you to stop doing something, stop it. Stop it for your good. As long as they follow the tips I said, it should be fine in China. Alright, um, that's it for today. Remember, the big brother is watching you.